right guys, coming at you with another episode. Bit of an update for you. Um, so I went through the remainder of the armor I had. There was about a quarter of durability left in that. And then I took a chunk out of my new armor set that I made and had about three near-death experiences. And you might be asking yourself, what for? Well, pff, I'm about to show you. Look at that. Got two more records. Mall and stall. Kind of devastated the landscape next to my... Uh, my wood farm or whatever you want to call it, tree plantation, but was it worth it? Absolutely. We got Maul and Stall. I think Maul's kind of like a mellow song and Stall is a little bit jazzy. Yeah, yeah, that was right. Nice, nice. So we got a little bit of building music. I'd call this my building music and uh, yes, that's lovely. And then Maul is very mellow, so maybe when I'm doing a little tour, I want to, you know, have you guys relaxed. Maybe when we're, you know, just chatting about some sensitive topics or something, we'll have this music playing. So that's nice. I feel like I probably shouldn't risk my life so many times for any more records, because we've got a few good ones now. So let's play some jazzy music, and I wanted to start this episode by doing a... We're going to play some stall by doing uh, two little enchantments. So I did a little bit more caving, and I found a bit more stuff. Uh, I got a little bit more redstone. I actually used all of what I had before on the wheat farm, which wasn't a whole lot to begin with. And I've just been using the coals I've been going to collect a little bit of regular stone, but uh, I've been going through that as fast as I get it as well, just smoothing this place out for now. Um, moss stone, yeah. I forgot to mention that actually in the very first episode of my Let's Play. I dug down here and then I started digging this place out. And lo and behold, there was a dungeon right here. So I actually had to destroy the uh, spawner, which is something I absolutely hate doing. And you know what? I haven't been able to find a spawner since. So that stinks. I might have to uh, travel quite a distance to find a new one, but we'll get to that. But for now, I'm just going to drop two levels into this diamond pick and this diamond sword that I got. And to those who are unaware, if you place torches on these enchantment, uh, or sorry, these bookshelves here, then it actually disables them. So these should be very low levels when I place this in here. Yeah. Two levels on it. Sharpness one gives us a little bit of an edge. And two levels on this. Efficiency one. So that would be better than that level 15 iron pickaxe that took about all of two seconds to use. So I've just been doing a little bit of mining here and there, just no real specific uh, pattern that I've been going on. Sometime I'll have an official mine, but just wanted to quickly see how efficiency one was. It's definitely not what I'm used to, but uh, it's definitely an improvement, so, you know, beggars, beggars can't be choosers. Alright, what did I plan on doing for this episode? Well, I've got a few things in mind. Um, if you remember in last episode, I showed you that the grass was coming down. It is getting closer, so that'll be something that I might have to do near the end of the episode. So it's gone all the way up from the surface down to 13. We've made it quite a ways. And I want to do a little bit of aesthetics in here, so I, uh, I'm going to start working on the walls. And like I said, as the grass comes down, I'll work on the floor. And um, <clears throat> don't really have the resources necessary to do the pumpkin or the melon farm yet. What we really need for that is um, some more sticky pistons. And for sticky pistons, we need to find some slimes. And uh, don't have any at the moment, which is very unfortunate. So I'm going to have to uh, keep my eyes peeled for a slime chunk. And then I'm just going to build a little base for them to spawn and collect a few. But it uh, won't be an official slime farm not ready for a project that large either. So, uh, like I said, gonna work on the aesthetics of this place enough. The stone is kind of getting to me, and uh, I'll be catching up with you guys when that's finished. All right, guys, so I got a sporadic random nether update for you. Um, thought I'd take a little break from doing the aesthetics and come in here and grab a little bit of the glowstone I seen, and I uh, gathered a few stacks of nether rack and built this little um, I guess you'd call it just a little base for the glowstone dust to come down and hit. Don't really need to collect it all at the moment. I just have, I have a need for some glowstone. So you'll see what I'm going to do with that in a moment. And uh, I've been working on the aesthetics, and yeah, that should be enough. We'll come back and gather the rest later. 
it is not really safe at the moment. See, there's a ghast over there, and I was dealing with a ghast. Yep, there he is. Yep, time to go. All right, here we go. And I'll show you what I've been doing in the main base. I need a bow and arrow desperately. I have, I have a bow, I just haven't made any arrows yet, really. All right. Yep, done with you, guy. Get me out of this place, please, and thank you. A little bit of food back in the main hub. Let's get a little bit of glowstone going. There we go. Got about 15, not bad. All right. Just about to show you what I did here. Bring you around the corner. You know what? Let's get a little CD going. I added a chest here. Let's play some stall. Great. And I'm going to need some pistons here. It's part of my idea. I kind of just dropped what I was doing and went in the nether there. I had a, I had a really good idea and just wanted to do it. Uh, oh, I know. I put my pistons over here. You can see that the grass is getting very, very close. So that's definitely going to be done in a moment or two. As soon as that comes down, I'll make this whole floor of grass and show you what the final effect is. But I wanted to add some lighting in here. And I wanted to do... Um, lighting without torches. I personally don't like the look of torches, so here's my plan. I'm going to have glowstone down there and then on top of it, a piston. And to those who are unaware, a piston is actually um, transparent, so the light comes through. I'll show you the block lighting. Right now, it is 12, and it comes out and there really is no spot that's 8, so that's nice. i um, going to have to work some some more uh, lighting in around here somewhere, but I'm just gonna quickly little leg spike. I'm gonna do this in each corner quickly, and then uh, you know just do a little bit update here and there. As you can see, it's starting to really take form. I use the light wood for the corner, or sorry, for the walls here, and this is just regular wood up top. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with light wood um, for the ceiling. I don't want to use too many different colors. It just you know your eyes get confused and you don't know where to look so I'm thinking that um, for all along here it's just gonna be light wood but I'm gonna need to harvest a little bit more I think I'm getting a little low yeah and I already had to go harvest some but you know the price you pay for beauty as they say <laughs> never thought I'd say that in my life oh goodness so yeah I kinda like how you can see the piston just kinda blends in so it's it's a nice effect with the wood, but like I said, I'm going to need some more lighting along here. Maybe some redstone lamps between. We'll work it out so like a redstone lamp would look really good right about there, right in between. If you haven't noticed yet, I'm a symmetrical type of guy. I just think things look better symmetrically. Um, agree with me or not, it's how things are going to work around here. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, like I said, going to wait a little bit. Going to wait for that grass to come down. Maybe add a little bit of lamps around get some lighting going and I will do another update in a moment alright so for the first time playing Minecraft I had to actually farm dirt uh, it's never actually happened to me um, what has changed well you can see I added a roof I added these two lamps I like how they break up the room a little bit they draw your eyes over there and it blends nicely with the wood textures um, I added, oh, the grass is spread. It skipped that block, interestingly enough. That must have just happened as we started recording, because I was checking in on it. Um, I added, as you can see here, I added another piston light right here. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. I'll need about a torch in this area, a torch in this area, a torch there, 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 and there. I'm not going to use torches though, I'm going to have to find an alternative way to light this place, but that's for a later time. Um, these torches right here are temporary, I'm not exactly sure if grass spreads faster with um, higher lighting, but I think it does, so I just really lit the place up well for the grass to spread, and I really like this green. It's that jungle hills green, you can see, so that's nice. Um, I think I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to do a time lapse of the grass growing. I want to put a new, a new meaning behind watching grass grow. So for the first time ever, it might actually be interesting to watch grass grow. <laughs> so that's nice. And um, I'm just going to come over here and we'll get right into that. So I'll make sure to give you guys an elapsed time as soon as that ends. But until then, enjoy. And 
who knew watching grass grow could be so much fun? A uh, few things we learned. First of all, this isn't actually all jungle biome. I just found out right now that part of this is river, and it's a very strangely shaped river. So this is jungle hills, extends to river, back to jungle, and right in the middle here is jungle, but on each side is river. So I'm not sure how that works. I kind of want to just go up and check out what the the uh, biome is like upstairs, but we'll do that at another time. Um, all I really did was I added glowstone lamps here for a little bit of extra lighting, and it's just not enough. You can see that without this torch right here, there is one spot that's seven. And that can be fixed if we just have some sort of lighting right here, but we'll work on that in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> done enough as aesthetics. Um, what I wanted to do is actually just take you guys for a little bit of a tour down my mines, show you what I've been doing behind the scenes. Let's just get rid of that, just get rid of some string. I mined those a little bit earlier. Um, what do we need? I think we've got, we just need some sort of pick. Let's make quickly make an iron one. And we'll drop maybe a level or so into it. So I still haven't died. Um, I found something that may cause my first death. I'll give you a hint, it's a naturally generated structure. And I actually hinted at it in one of my other episodes. So if uh, most of you guys could guess that by now. But if you haven't, don't worry. That's where we're going. So it's a little bit of a walk. I'll just talk you through it. I've been tending to cut out a lot of this stuff, but a lot of people do enjoy the actual playing of Minecraft, so I'm going to try to leave some of these segments in. So there's two things I wanted to show you. Uh, the first is just down this way. I've been getting so lucky with diamonds in this world, it's absolutely insane. I've just been branching in random directions with these mines. There's nothing, you know, planned out, but um, look at this. We found in this ravine, I pretty much mined it out of everything else, but I left this uh, for when I get a fortune pick because we're actually fine on diamonds right now. So there's four blocks of diamond right there, and I believe it was six over here. Let me count it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so there's ten blocks of iron, or uh, sorry, ten blocks of diamond, and uh, that'd be two veins, which is very rare to see in a ravine. Um, two veins right next to each other. I have only seen that a few times. But uh, let's bring you down the mine, and I'll show you what I first intended on bringing you to see. Uh, it's just down a little bit farther, and it is on the right side, if my memory serves me right. And this is going to be a huge addition to our world once I get it set up. Lights. Uh, don't like that. Let's get a few torches in here and have the place lit up. So yeah, it's uh, right up here, and I think this was the tunnel. Nope, one more. That was a vein of coal or something. Yeah, right down here. Alright, uh, don't get mad at me. I found a bit more diamond. <laughs> Not sure how much is there. But as you can see, I haven't made my way over. But, look at that. What have we found? That would be a abandoned mine shaft. And um, what I'm really looking for here is a cave spider spawner. I desperately need that. But what we also need is... Um, we need some melon seeds, so I'll have to do a little bit of looting of the chest, but there's not a whole lot of time in this episode, so I'm going to try to, you know, just quickly see if I can find a uh, cave spider spawner, and I'll tackle that with you, but, you know, grab a few resources along the way. Alright, so there's a little bit of gold, that's nice, and uh, let's see what's to the left here. You've got to be kidding me already? Oh my goodness, alright, well, um, I'm going to take this lava, we don't really have any... And let's get this place cleared out. A little bit of light around. Any spiders? Yeah, there's one. Alright. You. Yeah, I see you there. Wanna fight? Alright. Let's get this place lit. Oh, man. They make it too easy. We're not gonna die from this. But, uh, may die as I'm making it into a spawner. <laughs> we'll have to see. Alright. We need a little bit more light around here. They could probably still spawn. Anything up here? Yep. That's not safe and I didn't bring any blocks. That was very unwise of me. Alright, so this is going to take me a little while. I'm going to set up some sort of cave system, or sorry, um, XP system here, and that way we'll be able to get some nicer enchantments, but it's uh, it's only one. It doesn't look like there's a second one around, so we can't really do a dual cave spawner, but that's okay. It's a start, and uh, I'm just going to take it. Take it in stride. And I'll be sure to be collecting all these as well. We definitely need some rail. Maybe I'll make a little rail system to here. But um, I don't think there's a whole lot of time left in this episode, so 
I'm gonna have to uh, make a cut here, and then I'll bring you up, and you know we'll do that final cinematic shot before the episode's over. So that's nice. I'll just be back in a moment. All right, so I reviewed the footage and found out that we actually still have a little bit of time to deal with. So there's a few things that I can talk about here. Um, I mentioned in my first episode how I want to have an elevator system, and then you can actually have a floor selector to get off at different levels. And the more thought I put into it, so the bottom floor, uh, that's been confirmed. That's going to be our farm. That's what we've been working on today. And then the second floor might be like a nether base type deal. That'd be pretty cool. So instead of, you know, having wood and grass, it would be nether brick and nether rack and stone. And then maybe one up would be like a dungeon-y feel. So it would be all the different types of stone blocks, stone brick. And then maybe the next floor would be sand feel, like sandstone and light colors of wood and so on and so forth. Got lots of time to think about that, though. So like I said, uh, I can definitely extend this into a lengthy project if you guys are enjoying the content. And uh, that's the intentions right now. But what I really wanted to do, I'm just lighting this place up. I really don't want mob spawns in here. Um, I wanted to just come outside and take a look at um, the terrain up there. Um, you've seen, as I was doing that uh, grass speed up spot video type thing, um, that it was jungle hills, jungle, and river all in a small area. And it's actually on the top of this large hill right here where our base would be. So I kind of want to see what that's all about. So I'll bring you up there. And uh, you can see that this is actually a beach, and that right there is some terrain that a creeper had destroyed on me. Uh, don't worry, I'll be fixing that. It's just something else I have to add to the to-do list. Uh, really need to find myself a um, desert biome. I think there might be one uh, that away, but that could just be a beach. We'll have to take a look. I uh, desperately need some sand. We don't have any glass or anything yet. That could be very useful. Uh, so I'm just making my way up here. I'm really curious to see the terrain. My guess is Minecraft just, you know, messed up. And for some reason, it thought there'd be a river. Because I, I just can't imagine there being um, <clears throat> a little water river on top of the hill. But it could be very cool if there is. So, um, the water drop from my base would be right about here. And my base would probably be right there. And I think you can see the grass. Yeah, it's a... It's a different shade right there, uh, so that would be the river biome. Let me just get down there and take a look. Come down. Yeah, river, jungle. So this is probably right about where my fountain is. And then along here is the sides of it. And then river, jungle, up here, jungle hills. That's nice. Um, oh, cow. Hello. I'll remember where you are. We need to come back for him when we start working on the farm. And uh, that's actually it's not too far away now that we've got the aesthetics of the bottom worked out. You just need to set up a large grand staircase and then start working on the animal farm. So, um, I probably have enough time to just talk through the rest of this day. So, we'll just, you know, take a look around. And that looks like an ext... Oh, ooh, I was holding shift. What's going on? What in the world? I guess vines mess that up. Vines, you messed me up. The vines are like the um, the messed up ladders for that. Was it 1.2? Was it 1.2 that had the messed up ladders? I don't know. I'll have to do a little bit of research on that. But I friggin' despise those ladders. It absolutely ruined the parkour maps. So it's nice that they, you know, brought vines for that functionality if you ever want it. And kept the old ladders so you can stand on top of them. Uh, How much time do we... Oh, we still got lots of time. I feel like I am going to run out though, so... I might have to say I'm a goodbye here in a moment, but uh, something else that I'd like to show you guys. Just found out about it myself. Um, apparently this opens up, and down here is a ravine that I'd already explored, and this actually leads right to my base. So I could bring you down and show you how close it is, but I had absolutely no clue whatsoever. Uh, I've been noticing that wherever there are dark places, I've been getting a lot more mobs, and I know why. It's because I've been lighting all the caves up as I've been going, so it's actually uh, it's creating more mob spawns where there are dark areas because there's actually being fewer and fewer. There we go. Didn't take any damage on that. I just got to find the way back to my base here. I think it's just right up, and I think I put ladders. Yeah, so this is a ravine I explored. I haven't lit it up that perfectly yet, but I'll get back to it. I've got a habit of just, you know, kind of doing half a ravine, looking around, not seeing any resources, and just heading out. Be like, nope, I'm done. See ya. <laughs> and it's a habit that i got to break. 
So let's see, uh, let's see how well my memory serves me. I think this is the way back to my base. Uh, ooh, what is this right here? This needs to be closed up. But uh, I think that's my wheat farm. Yeah, that's the wiring for my wheat farm. So I can make my way back in just like if I can find a way right here. We'll just punch these out and we'll break in. Perfect. Yeah, let's fix that because I'll probably forget to. Had a little bit of a scare, by the way. Forgot to mention it, but um, there was a lava pit underneath here by about a block, one right below that um, water stream right there. And I thought when I placed the water, it got rid of it, but nope. And the lava caught this on fire, and I had a little bit of an incident. Luckily, I was in the area and caught it. It could have been a whole lot worse. But uh, so, so essentially, this block caught on fire here, and I actually need to fix that. But um, this place caught on fire, and it spread to about here before I really came over and just started like frantically hitting everything, and uh, I got it to stop. So got lucky there. Uh, hopefully, I've got it uh, fixed now. I went way down, got rid of any lava in the area. Don't want this place to burn down because the fire would spread over this entire entire area. So um, if anything, I learned to make backups. So I've been doing backups for that for this um, this world here and it led me to the idea that a lot of people have actually asked me for the world download already through an inbox and I've supplied that to them but uh, for the masses I think I'm just gonna every five episodes or so post a new world download it's actually quite simple for me to do I just have to take one of my backups and put it into rapid share so I'll be doing that for you guys and uh, just wanted to thank you all again for tuning in I appreciate the continued support and I'm actually getting a few people following these videos so if you're watching this you know sometime around release um, you're pretty much the reason that I'm making this uh, it's for you guys and I hope you are all enjoying the content if you did like it I would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button there it really helps us out uh, us new youtubers and uh, if you really enjoy the content you hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever I come out with new content so, uh, that's all I really had to say, guys. I really appreciate the continued support, and uh, I guess I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.